guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you a fabulous treat, perfect for this time of year, whether it's Halloween or these are going to be perfect on your dessert table for the holidays. Uh, they are my apple cider baked donuts. Now, I posted a picture on Instagram a few weeks ago uh, of this particular recipe, and everybody wanted the recipe. Uh, the only difference is that in the picture, there were mini, mini size. These are going to be regular size donuts. Um, but you can certainly make them in a mini size. You just have to adjust the cooking temperature. Now, the ingredients you'll need for these are very basic ingredients, which you might already have on hand if you do a lot of baking this time of year. You'll need all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, pumpkin pie spice, brown sugar, granulated sugar, egg, some good quality um, apple butter, which this is the one I made, some apple cider, you need unsalted butter, melted, a little bit of vanilla extract. Now, the first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated to 350. The second thing you want to do is spray your donut pans with some nonstick spray. I just buy these, I bought these from Amazon. Um, I know I'll get a lot of questions if you can do this without a donut pan. They will not look like donuts. So unless you want a donut, they need to be used, you need to make it in a donut pan, which you can buy online. Now, these are really simple. I pretty much have already all my dry ingredients measured out. So all I'm going to do is just whisk these together just to kind of combine them and then I'm going to just set these aside. It doesn't have to be perfect because they're all going to they're all going to get combined anyway. Now, in here I'm going to pretty much put everything else except for my apple cider. We'll get to that at the end, um, not the end, but you know. So we've got both kinds of sugar. I've got some vanilla extract, an egg. Now, you want to make sure that you use really good quality apple butter for this because those apple cider apple butter, just fall flavors are going to be the sort of star of this recipe. This is apple butter I make, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of people that have tried it, it's the best apple butter you'll ever put in your mouth. It's not too sweet, you can still taste the apples, it's got fabulous flavors, and you can get my recipe on LaraInTheKitchen.com, of course. A little bit of the butter, well all the butter, just a little bit of butter, and I'm just going to start working these together until they're nicely combined. Now we'll just add in our apple cider. And this is the part where it looks like it's going to split and crazy things are going to happen, but and they're not. It's going to be fantastic, trust me. And when these bake, oh, sometimes the brown sugar forms a little lump, so I'm just going to keep those out. There you go. These are going to be amazing to have. This recipe is going to be amazing to have in your repertoire this time of year because you can give these as gifts. You can pr bring these to any party. You can serve them if you're doing like a really nice brunch for, I don't know, Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatnot. You could serve these. They're just really, it's a great all-purpose recipe. So just mix this in until it's nicely combined. Awesome. Okay. Now what I have here is just a large like Ziploc bag, resealable bag, and I've got one corner shoved in here into this cup. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take half of this at a time because I've got two donut pans to fill and I think it's just easier if you do half and then another half so that you don't have um, the bag too full. All right, get half of that in there. Try to get it all off your little ladle. Push this aside, get this closer to me, and then what I do, make sure that you get all the air out, snip the bottom, oops, that's fine, and then you just need to fill these like three quarters of the way. And using um, a bag like this, it just makes things so much easier. Uh, if you were to do this with two spoons, which you absolutely can, it just might take you a little bit longer. All right, once you have them filled, just clean up a little bit around, um, around the edges. I just kind of tap, 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 get rid of any air bubbles. Beautiful. And these are going to go into the oven. It's been preheated to 350 for around 10 to 11 minutes or until they're fully cooked through. Check them with a toothpick, this should be perfect. And then you're going to let them cool completely and we'll be ready to uh, glaze them. My donuts baked for 12 minutes and I've let them cool completely. It's really important. Now what I did was, I took the baking sheet I placed these little pans on and I took it and I just lined it with some aluminum foil. This just makes cleanup a lot easier. And then you just put a cooling rack on top of it because when we glaze them and we set them on there, 
the glaze is gonna fall down, so you wanna make sure it's not gonna, they're not sitting in it. Now what I have here to make the glaze is some confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, whichever, whatever you call it, a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, some apple cider, and we're gonna need some orange zest. If there's one recipe that you make this Halloween, fall treat season to really impress your guests or to give away to someone, this has to be it. Only because they are so incredibly easy to make. Yet the name alone and the look and taste of them are just phenomenal. And anyone I serve these to just keeps coming back for them over and over and over because they are really delicious. And they just have such an incredible balance of flavor between the spices and then the orange and the apple cider and, and also the apple butter that I cooked myself in a slow cooker. It's got a lot of really delicious flavors. So there you go. Now a little bit at a time I'm gonna add in my apple cider. I'm not gonna add it all at once because I'm not gonna need all of it. I'm just gonna need probably a few tablespoons to get this to a really nice sort of glazed consistency. Just be a little patient because if it looks like it's just not gonna happen when you least expect it, it's gonna end up being way too loose. So just add a little bit at a time until you get to the right consistency. That looks perfect. It's thick, but yeah, it's still really nice and runny. It's gonna make it easy for us to dip our donuts in. So let me just bring this closer to me. These should pop right out. If they don't, you can always use there you go, you can always use a knife to help you. Now you could dunk the bottom if you want a perfect circle. I like to do the top because I feel like it looks more like a donut. And then just place it right on there. I mean, how easy and how adorable are they? And as some will look more donut than others because, you know, some of the holes didn't get, um, some of them aren't too overfilled, I should say. I'm just gonna take this out because it's kind of getting on my nerves. There you go and just dip away. Mm. Now if you want to, you could um, double dip these. So you would go back to the first one once they have had a chance to set and double dip them. You can do that. However, I feel like you really don't need that extra layer of sweetness because they are sweet enough as it is. And I have to tell you, these have been, and I cook a lot. If you watch my daily vlog, well, my vlogs on my, on my vlog channel, then you know that I cook a lot and I give away a lot of food to my friends and family. And so when I tell you I'm giving these to my friends or I'm bringing these to the nursery, I really do. And my food, uh, things I bring, people always rave because obviously everybody loves food. These are something that people cannot get off their minds when they eat them. It's, they're just divine and I think that it's just that they're the perfect thing to have on a holiday table if you're going to have something that it's a little bit, I mean it's really indulgent because of that thick glaze. They're delicious. I'm going to go in for the first one. I'm going to give a little bite because the glaze is still sticky. I mean look at that. They're fluffy. They're sticky, they're sweet, they're flavorful. They are delicious on every level. You can also skip the glaze if you want. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would do that because it's so incredibly delicious and that orange zest adds such character to them. I will be doing some mini pumpkin donuts, uh, baked pumpkin donuts in the near future for um, Christmas because it's something that I just love and I want to share with you. So I hope you are excited for that. To get this recipe along with many, many others that are going to be perfect for this time of year, go to lartinthekitchen.com. Leave any requests you have down below for future recipes, especially for the holiday season. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.